Welcome back to Pops and Pilots. Let's play some more Crusader Kings 3. We are Empress uh, Daurama, the second of Khan and Bono, and I really, really, really want to complete the achievement, Mother of Us All, in this lifetime. Uh, we have to, well, we had to start as Daurama Dora, and we're now Daurama the second. <laughs> and uh, we have to convert all of Africa to our reformed faith, and we're almost, almost, almost done. Uh, there is one country. Yes, one ruler, one one independent ruler in Africa that is not um, Bori, which is this person in here, ruler of Ajaran, which we have been hurting quite a bit. We currently have to choose two. And uh, there's a little bit of non-Bori land around. Um, over here, this is Waki land, but we already control this and we already made the ruler of it Bori, so this should convert in time. Uh, same for this Coptic place here. Uh, there's a tiny place up here. This is also part of Ajaran that is already Bori, but the top leader's faith is Waki. So that is that. And this, why is this? County faith Bori, top leader's faith Bori, but you're in Ajaran, are you not? You're n Oh no, you must be independent. Good, good, good. So it's really just Ajaran that is a problem. We have those that to your truce after which we can probably stomp them uh, in some way or another. Now, what else is going on? I believe all my vassals are converted except for that Coptic Pope, who is just a titular vassal. Uh, he does not have actual land. Uh, he's just my vassal because he's the Pope and I control the land that he's Pope of. Uh, he cannot be converted, but that's fine. I mean, who cares, right? So, that is that. Otherwise, I think we're just gonna cruise along and hopefully I don't not have too many issues until we're done there. Well, I never realized that you could see the advantage, uh, the bonus granted by the holy sites in this map mode. Huh. Funny that all our holy sites are down here when we have so much more land. You'd think people would find new holy sites or something. I don't know, is that how that works? Oh, poor Guinea. Look at poor Guinea. It split off from our land. It was us, and then in succession it was split off, and now it's falling apart. And if we were continuing to play this game, uh, we could now probably relatively easily gobble all of this up, and uh, then complete Unite Africa, which helps with conversion, but we don't need this anymore. And uh, we obviously don't need the prestige or the piety. We would just do it to have one of these decisions done. I believe all of the others are essentially unavailable to us. University needs 40 development, we're not even close to that. Many crowns need 10 independent kingdom or higher rulers of our dynasty. We just have us. Even our Guinean um, branch here didn't work out. So not really gonna help. What does it even do? Plus two stewardship? Ooh, that's that's huge. I mean, that is really huge. Once you do this, you, people are gonna be so much better. Gee, vassal opinion, levy size, and that renown. That is a very powerful. And obviously, strength of bloodline. I would have tried to do, I did try to do. But um, if we do complete our campaign as Daurama here, we're not going to be a genius, beautiful, uh, well, a genius and have a beautiful and a physical specimens thing. We are just a genius. Just a genius. We do have some people in our. Uh, Dynasty, I forget who. Yeah, you, for example, you're a genius and pretty, so if we could get some hailness or something in there, you would be good. Um, but your son is not that, he's just comely and a genius. So even if we were to continue down that line, we would not be able to get it. I think we have somebody in the dynasty that has all the traits, but um, since it's not us and they're not head of the house, uh, they this button will not be pressed. It's fine. I'm honestly going to be kind of happy to complete this thing. I don't think I want to attend your feast. It is, by the way, past Christmas by now. I hope you had a, a great holiday, whether you're of that um, religious <laughs> denomination or not. Um, and uh, you're going to have a happy new year very, very soon. I'm going this in between, so to speak. Another child of my dynasty, Alima. Another genius. Well, what a surprise. <laughs> Um, yes. So, I hope you're having a good good time right now between days and uh, well, between the years, as we say here. And uh, there's gonna be a new campaign on uh, campaign, a new campaign 
on the horizon very, very shortly. Uh, assuming we do manage to finish this, which I'm pretty confident that we will be. And that campaign is um, almost certainly going to be EU4. I keep bringing that as 4. And we're almost certainly going to play as Tver somewhere around... Ooh. Uh, I gain money from you because you're my friend. Oh, nice. Um, I'm not going to be able to quite pinpoint where Tver is, but it's somewhere in this sort of area, I think. So it's in Muscovy, but it's in, in western-ish Muscovy, I believe. Maybe I'm confusing it for Ryzen, but no, I think it's also somewhere, somewhere around here-ish. And we will have to, in a very limited time frame, get all the way over here. And the thing is, if you do um, the achievement, what is it, Relentless Push East, normally you do it as like Muscovy, and it's a pretty easy achievement. But we're going to do it as Twer, which I don't even know if it's possible. We'll see. It's probably going to be some failure. Uh, old Swedish lady, probably. No, Russian. I'm going to confuse the two. Um, with the chieftain claim, I don't really care. We have tons of money. If we were to continue the campaign, we'd certainly invest all of that into our um, local domain. But, um, well, for one, we're not going to continue. And for another, we have build most of the buildings, at least in a couple of the um, counties that we own. What's this? We're apparently swaying you. Um, you don't like me much. Uh, appreciate feature of war, ruling of a realm, subterfusion intrigue. So you are uh, a fortune builder, so that's... If anything, it would be ruling of a realm. I think that's what it would be. Um, he is an architect and avaricious, so very, very fortune focused there. He's humble, content, and fickle. He has all the stewardship. This must be ruling of the realm, right? Right? No. Hmm. So I feel like that was the right choice to make. So these must have some sort of random element to them. I can't imagine that any of the other choices was correct. I was considering whether maybe ruling of the realm was more diplomacy, but I don't think that's actually true. You were still swayed. Good, good, good. I don't remember why I'm swaying you, but probably you're just a powerful vassal that I would like to like me. A snake at court? What? What's this? Just the wind? Open oh, my rose, it's E. It's E. It is I, Nigalami. Nigalami? Uh, well, my vassal, uh, how dare you try to get it on with my daughter? Who has a spouse? I mean, now Ulrich might not be the nicest of guys, but she has a spouse. Go away. Are you, like, intrigue focused? No. What is your thing? My neighbor Akinatari is lost against your steward in the Ghanaian War for the claim in the Duchy of Bambuk. Which is... where? Okay. Irrelevant. I wouldn't mind one of my uh, subjects going in here and eating some Ajuran. But otherwise, I don't care about their wars here, I don't think. No, I have more important matters to attend to. Go away with your feasting. Just too many risks um, involved with that. That we don't don't need to take. Ah, I'm very tempted with Absolute Crown Authority. We don't need it. And it would actually hurt the chances of our vassals expanding. Because they can't do that without a hook on me. They can't even ask. They would allow wars to expand, but they wouldn't be able to do that. The levies and the taxes are sweet, but we don't need them at all. I, I don't think I can reasonably press that button as much as I want to. Um, but I was actually on that uh, screen here because I want to check my domain. See whether any place needs control raised. It does not. So you can go back to, I mean, you're probably already back. No, you're doing organized levies. And I think I don't want that. I think I want um, train commanders. Save me some money. Again, probably irrelevant. But hey, you're converting faith. Good, that's all we really care about. 
right now. Host the feast. I don't think I need to. Vassals keep bouncing out of prison. That's fine. And we have a new learning perk. Are we going for anything here? Uh, faster conversion because fervor doesn't matter anymore. Yes, please. Good, good. Please, I mentioned in the comments that we could, the next time we do a, a Crusader Kings campaign, we could have a um, stipulation forcing us to um, sort of switch between trees rather than always using the same trees because I am very, very tempted to keep on using the same ones because I just like them so much more, especially when you have a big county country. So maybe that's something I I'm gonna have a look at. I have some ideas how that could look. Oh, we don't have a court physician. Um, let's fix that in a minute. But first, let's give our a dingy new conversion task. Let's say, and we have converted all of our own land, so we can just go and help out with somebody else's plan here. Now I don't know, again I don't know if they are already converting and I'm converting if that sort of stacks or if just whoever's faster wins and gets the conversion, I don't know. But anyway, it's not like we have anything else to do for him. Um, probably he will also have it well, I say we have nothing else to do for him. Probably we'll have a job for him. And that's gonna be being my court physician. Yeah. He is the most learned person in this world. Um well in my court, not in this world at all, look at me. I'm probably very learned. Knowing me, I'm probably very well learned. Uh, I want you to be in my court position though. For 10 decades, sure. I am quite learned. Not the most learned person in our family, but we're still young. Uh, pushing our luck. Uh, try to get even closer. Uh, diplomacy challenge, 80% of more opinion, 20% of less opinion. Sure. Ah, unlucky. I'm gonna hit Mystical Communion again. I'm just gonna keep hitting this button, even though it can make me ill. Most miraculous fish. Uh, prepare me one of your magical fish. Mmm, tasty. Uplifting or horrifying visions plus six learning. Or plus six learning and a severe health penalty, which I'm not the biggest fan of. But I mean, 70% of plus six learning for 20 years, that's ginormous. 100% I become a witch, which, you know, uh, and I gain five learning, and he's my loyal servant. Heck yeah. And again, it's probably just negative to be a witch, because we're not going to get that coven thing going. But I want to try, so yeah, teach that ritual to me, please. Why are we suddenly getting all these witch, witch, witch events, and before we never did? Weird. Um, da, 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 da. Stay ambitious. You are oh, sadistic or paranoid. That's all garbage. Now, ambitious is probably good in general. It is, except for the stress gain. It's slightly annoying that this is my secondary or even quadruciary child, and ambition will hurt. But nah, stay ambitious. We finally know what a mangonel is. And you, uh, my daughter, can also become a witch. Hmm. Yeah, sure. You know a witch. You're a witch, Harry. Um. My accents, the best, the absolute best. What was I thinking about right before that witch thing happened? Witch thing. Something, something, something. Daughters, children. What happened just before? I only have one ward, which is probably wrong. I, it's also not true. I have two wards, so much. Um, what was it? Damn you, witches! Confounding me with your ideas. I did want to check on my truce, but that's not that either. Oh, it's no, it's not. No, it is gone. Nice. Speed five is one hell of a drug. So hey, Arjuran. Ah, right, 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 right. What I was considering doing, and maybe I will not be doing right now, 
is to change my mangonels. Well, my onagers for mangonels. Now, I don't know if there maybe is an upgrade button. I'm not seeing it. So these are onagers. We can now raise um, mangonels. I could dismiss the whole thing and raise mangonels. But what that would do is that it would um, have to start raising at zero and I want them right now to take out Ajuran. So I'd probably do it after the war. I could instead stand down some of these guys, but it'll be fine. It'll probably also be irrelevant. But hey, so Ajuran, declare war. What can we do to you? Can probably take that duchy down there, hoping that it's just one duchy. It is. Which leaves Ajuran up there with the wrong ruler. Now, I believe our, this is not her control. Is it her land straight up? No. You are holding it, but you're also wacky. So the Dutch War would leave one province that has the right faith, but the wrong faith ruler, which might be a problem. I doubt that we have somebody with good claims here. Should check our um, we should check our prison. We can't take kingdoms yet, so that's not an option. We should check our prison for somebody with a claim on all of Ajaran to make this a bit quicker. Although that would probably be the empire and then not work. We'll see. We'll see. Let's have a look at the prisoners. We don't have a lot, so it should be an easy. Check Dutch of West Ajuran, the county of Jilip. You're not Jilip, right? No, you're Darren. Uh, West Ajuran, Jilip. Doesn't feel like we have somebody with the right claims. So I do think we take the duchy and then hope that maybe they convert because their um, commoners have different. Um, different religion. Also, I don't know if he can actually be an empress without land. Or if she would be independent then. And if she ends up being independent, we can immediately declare war on her. And deal with her afterwards. Because truce is with people, not with countries, I believe. So, you, duchy for a horrendous amount of prestige, but we don't mind too much. Take Mogadishu, vastly inferior, confirm, declare. I didn't need to, need to click that confirm button, but I did it anyway. Um, hopefully one of the last times we have to do this song and dance for a while. Get in there, re-raise. And honestly, I should probably... Yeah, no, that's not what I meant to do. Add a second rally point somewhere like here. Cancel your gathering. Go into here. Look for my race all armies button and control click it. Now we should have two armies raising at the two rally points. Which will then. Ooh, speed 4 is also quite a drug. <laughs> um, that's enough of the raising. Well, well risen, my friends. Well risen. Bit too much for my taste, but. Can you do? You already siege person, excellent. Get in there, take that place. And you siege stack with a siege person, 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 person. Get on there, go. Crunch their army over here. Bring in the CG people. Detach the onagers. So there, there's another place here, okay. So we do want one more siege stack. Bit big, 
but it'll be fine. I can afford to waste a few troops here. It's not like we're lacking pretty much anything. You're in. You go over here just to make sure they're not raising an extra army over there. You are doing that, and you guys can just stand down. Don't need to pay for you. And then this will be trivial. I do believe. You guys, once your friends are in, there they are. Okay, task aboard it means the country was converted. Again, I don't know if my my interference there did anything. But it did get converted. These Coptics seem slow. I'm gonna help there, maybe. Maybe Coptics are harder to convert than Waki people. Seems I don't know. If it matters. Uh more money from you. <sighs> yeah, give me more money. It's the wrong button to click, but I want more money, so sue me. Now, how are there no extra enemies? You have 89 soldiers. Was there an ally that didn't come or something? Didn't say she had like 2,000 soldiers and we killed 900? And now we're... but there are no allies there. Hmm. Cannot disband you. Okay, that's 100% because we took the sun and air, but also we have 100% because we have all this. And since the sun and air will be released in the peace deal, um, there's no point in keeping them because we can't. They will always be released. So I do want to sell everybody off. 30? That's an odd number. Well, technically it's an even number. Um, who are you? City of Elbur. You're not the guy I was looking for. I was looking to sell my guest. That's Sun and Air. I have to manually go into my prison again. Uh, prisoners. Oh. Family member? Right, there were some um, heathen family members over there. They must have been conv uh, con converted at some point. Now, who of you are the people that are potentially worth money? Probably you. No, I can just gain a hook. Because you don't have money, is that what you're saying? Hmm. Can't sell these up for money. I guess I take a weak hook on the that Empress in case we have use for it. We don't really have one, do we? No, we do not. She doesn't have any money, so that's probably why we can't ransom there. Um, mass release? No. Can't ransom all for hooks. Fine. Ransom. Get a hook. And I'm just gonna let the rest go as part of the peace deal, I guess. If I can't get money for it, who cares? Enforce. Uh, oh. Just to say yes to the Enforce. So be it. Uh, I did put a slightly, slightly, oops, slightly. Don't make air quads and walk out of the out of the screen. That's just dumb. Disband all. Give away some land. I think we had grown-up children we gave land to, right? Yeah, you are... No, you don't have any land yet. So I should definitely give some land to my, my son here. Recent titles, Marek and Hopio. There you go. Um, that does not put us over the vassal limit, which is excellent. Now, who is ruling this place? Huh. Oh, that is her now. How did she take that from her subject? Hmm, that's a shame. Well, I guess back to speed 5 we go. And wait for her to either die or for that truce to end. Uh, I have more important matters than your feasts. Now it's not so bad to wait some time here because we have to con keep converting the other land anyway. Can't, don't think I can do anything cool. Convert to witchcraft scheme. Ooh. <laughs> Show her the ways of the shadow. 
So what do we need to do for a witch's coven? Something stupidly complicated, right? Um, decisions, witch coven. Fatumata, my daughter and heir have to, has to be a witch. Okay, that we can do. Yeah. 60% <laughs> of adult house members. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. Currently 0.6%. We just need a hundred, hundred? Yeah, a hundred times as many witches. Uh. So certainly not doing any of that. Uh, more cadet branches, steering stars, uh, less experience or less less experience. I take more even if you lose an opinion, that is gonna be fine. I will not come to your feast, shut up. Um, you love me now, so it's probably fine to sway somebody else. I don't know that there's anybody I really need to sway anymore. My council vassals are fine. My vassals sort by power. These all look fine-ish. I mean, I could because we have never done it before. Convert my daughter to witchcraft. Right? Whatever that means. Let's do it. <laughs> Again, I think it's negative. But hey. Now the real question becomes, why are we on speed one? No, the real question becomes whether we can finish this episode. Uh, I have more important matters, like finishing this campaign. Grown up child. No longer my thing. She would be one of the Excellent people. Genius, pretty, and hail. So if she was my heir, then we could press the button. She became an astute intellectual. Sounds better than it is, but it's fine. You're a fine girl. Let's find you a fine husband. Um, certainly, I want them to have inheritable traits. And it's almost a given that we want them. Well, we don't have to have them be a genius. Like getting Herculean and Comely in there would also do things. Right? There's still a chance of them being a genius. Or a lesser version of that. Um, but they could also get a better version of um, Pretty, maybe. And or Hail. I think this would be fine. Yeah, I don't want to think about this too much. This looks fine to me. Metrilineal, go. Excellent. And that's another perk. I think we're kind of done with these. Level of devotion impact. Does level of devotion have an impact on conversion speed? Does it say? Uh, not, he not here. Um, on this bar. No. No, it does not. It's only their learning skill, the fervor, but we've nullified that. The fact that we are Zealous Proselytizer. Okay. So I honestly don't give mini hoots about any of this, I don't think. So, but I mean, we also don't care about any of these. <laughs> Just gonna accumulate a ton of piety here, I guess. But we might want to switch. We're actually full on learning person. I didn't realize that. Well, I forgot over Christmas times. Could go back to doing some more of this good stuff. Don't super think we have any reason to go for diplomacy right now. Certainly not intrigue and probably not warfare. I mean, this is long-term stuff and we don't care about long-term stuff, so... Ugh. I'm just gonna stay on learning because I don't think it matters. Uh, no. 
I think there's something where you can say auto no to feasts. I feel like I read that in patch notes. Or maybe it was um, a, a mod. But I feel it was in the patch notes. Uh, da, 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 da. Can I force it to see the truth? I've kind of done to all I can. Go ahead with my plan. Or What? Make up your own mind. Uh, she becomes a witch. Um, learns of our witch secret. Sure. Can finally show my true self. In which we see a witch. Keep checking on Ajuran. Maybe she dies. Wait. She converted. All right. So now, all we have to do is deal with this stuff. Nothing else, just get these places done. Uh, another child, oh, we should probably also have a quick look at you. That's nice. But also look for another ward, right? You probably have another child. Do I have children that need warding? I actually do, potentially. This daughter has five. She's gonna need a ward in a year. Do I care? Oh, or a, a guardian. Um, you are going to be my ward for another three years. Now your children. He's also five. Okay, so we're going to do our own daughter. Not like that. Mm -hmm. Stay generous. Could become diligent. I do like diligent a lot. Not a big fan of 53 stress, but we have a lot of ways to get rid of stress, so... I think diligent is good. Generous is fine, but I like diligent more. And then we're gonna find a new counselor, new spy master, <laughs> old age, I'm sure. I am sure our spy master died of old age. Uh, you, 27, get going. And then I'm gonna host that feast. Drop all the stress. Yeah, we have a chance of it becoming known that we're a witch or something. I don't know if that can be, but secrets can be spoiled, spilled there. Uh, I'm gonna grab that interesting conversation as I do. Uh, right, we keep having that thing happening. I think it's still because we're arbitrary. What are you, my vassal? Could force you into my council. I mean, if you made yourself my dingy, that would be fine. Otherwise, I would be unhappy. Hmm. I think I can afford to lose that opinion. I don't think we have any rebellion issues anymore. And we become a famous reveler. Uh, now is not the time, people. <laughs> now really is not the time. <laughs> the problem is not that this one guy converted. The problem is that a lot of people are going to follow in conversion in a jiffy. And I hate that. It also means that we're not going to finish this episode. Uh, but we are going to finish next episode. Until then, thank you so much for watching. If you like what you're seeing, as always, please do hit that like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet, and uh, you want to know about the next campaign starting up. I mean, Duh, why wouldn't you? So get that subscription going and of course talk to me in the comment section. Thank you for watching, see you folks next time.